Hi there, I'm Miss Trich and welcome to Social Emotional Learning, where every video I'll be reading a book that you can read along with your child at home. And each book identifies a different emotion that your child might be feeling, but not quite sure how to regulate those emotions or how to cope. So in these videos, I'll be reading a different book from each set. So there are eight of them. The emotions that we talk about are frustration, belonging, flexible thinking, calmness, boredom, empathy, and worry. All right, so this is the set of books that I'll be reading, a little spot of feelings box set. It has eight feelings that I'll be reading, so here we go. Our first book is A Little Spot of Feelings, Emotion Detective, written and illustrated by Diane Alper. This book will identify all the eight emotions, while the remainder books will go in depth into each one. Hi, my name is Scribble Spot, and I am a little spot of feelings. I am so good at spotting and naming feelings. I actually became an emotion detective. How did you become an emotion detective? It all started when I was tangled with emotions. I didn't know how I was feeling, so I spent a lot of time learning all about emotions. I learned that emotion spots can show up for many reasons. They can show up to help you when we, people say and do things and when things happen around you. Then these emotions start to create feelings. Feelings are very important, but when you don't know how you are feeling, it can be hard to explain what you need or how someone can help you. Sometimes an emotion can create too many feelings and they can get jumbled together. So I made these feeling cards to help you name your feelings. When you learn how to name your feelings, it will help you get along with other people better and solve problems. Then you will be on your own way to becoming an emotion detective like me. One trick I use a lot is this feelings chart. Can you point out how you are feeling now? Way to go. You've already spotted your feelings. Another trick I like to use when spotting feelings is to look at face movements. Use a mirror to look closely at your eyebrows, eyes, and mouth. You will see how they move when you show your feelings. These movements are called facial expressions. Facial expressions are clues to spotting feelings. So here we have eyebrows, eyes, and mouth. How would you name this feeling? This answer is calm. Other clues are the way your body moves and how you stand. This is called body language. So we have the body language, voice tone and volume are clues as well, and the sounds that we make. How do we think this friend is feeling based off their body language? Maybe sad. How do you think this friend is feeling based off their volume and the sounds that they're making? Probably mad. Now use these clues to spot your feeling and name it. Let's look at a peaceful spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel relaxed and calm. Peaceful clues are relaxed eyebrows, focused and learning eyes, soft voice and breathing, ready to learn. Once you name it, the final step is to say it and give a reason why. Start with, I feel when. Why do you feel peaceful? I feel relaxed when I listen to classical music. I feel calm when I draw. So we have at ease, creative. Great job. Now let's look at more feelings. This is your happiness spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel excited and delighted. Happiness clues are eyebrows raised, eyes are crinkling, mouth corners turned up and smiling. When do you feel happy? I feel excited when I learn something new. I feel delighted when I make a new friend. So notice we have a lot of different emotions, delighted and excited that can go with happiness. This is your love spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel loved and appreciated. Love clues are eyebrows raised, mouth turned upward, smiling, wrinkled eyes, blushing and rosy cheeks. When do you feel love? I feel loved when my dog kisses me. I feel appreciated when I get a thank you card. This is your anxiety spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel scared or nervous. Anxiety clues are eyebrows are turned up and wrinkled, 
head and eyes looked down, slouching and not smiling, sweating and a tummy ache. When do you feel anxious? I feel nervous when I meet new people. I feel scared when I hear a loud sound. So notice their eyes are turned down, maybe their mouths are open. They're definitely not smiling and they're kind of slouching. This is your sadness spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel sad or left out. Sadness clues are eyebrows turned up, watery eyes are crying, mouth turned down, hands covering face. When do you feel sad? I feel left out when no one will play with me. I feel sad when I miss someone. So notice tears maybe, eyebrows turned down, mouth is turned down. This is your anger spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel frustrated or irritated. Anger clues are eyebrows are lowered or turned down, eyes are very focused, mouth is frowning, in a strong voice and strong arms. When do you feel angry? I feel frustrated when I can't find something. I feel irritated when I miss a basket. This is your confidence spot. When it shows up, it can make you feel proud and brave. Confident clues are eyebrows are relaxed, good eye contact, mouth corners, turned up and smiling, strong voice. When do you feel confident? I feel proud when I work hard. I feel brave when I sing. Once you learn how to name your feelings, you will discover new things about yourself. It will also make you feel amazing. Did you know that being able to spot your own feelings helps you spot them in others? What feeling is everyone experiencing here? So let's identify what do we think this friend is feeling. We have a tear, they're slouched, maybe their eyebrows are lowered. What do you think this is? I think this would be sadness. We've got a friend here, face is a little red, mouth open, arms crossed, eyebrows down. What do we think this would be? Anger, I agree. With your adult at home, let's identify the other ones. Maybe this is a good time to pause the video. <clears throat> so, are you ready to start training to be an emotion detective? All right, so now that we just finished reading a little spot of feelings, here are some things that you can do at home with your child. This book is a great way to start conversations about feelings with your child. Go to the feelings chart in this book, have your child pick a random feeling, and create the facial expression. Using a mirror will help your child see what face movements they are making. Ask your child when they felt that feeling. Talk about when you felt that feeling. The picture they're referring to is this one. So you can go back, rewind the video, and pause it where I have this page. Thank you. I'll see you next time at Social Emotional Learning. Bye.